FHM TV. I represented Alberta and then they sent me to Montreal to compete for the national title and I ended up winning uh, Miss Earth Canada. So they sent me to the Philippines last November to compete and represent the country of Canada. I was very fortunate to make a lot of new friends. Um, I had an amazing experience. I won a few titles. Um, I was Miss Photogenic. I was also a first runner-up for Miss Talent. I won uh, three out of the four sponsor awards and I won Miss Global Warming during I'm also very fortunate to be the ambassador of tourism for the Philippine Tourism Authority. And so they toured me all around the Philippines. I went to Boracay, I went to the Global Leyte, Banglao Bohol, Balacasag Bohol, Manawe in the Ifagao province, Iligan, Cagayan de Oro, Sula City. And I saw the beauty of the Philippines, the culture. I went to different museums and I saw so much history everywhere. And it's so diverse, yet it's all Filipino. And it's just, it's beautiful. So I, I have been seeing a lot of it around. It is daunting. It's daunting to think about it, but um, again, I always like I'm constantly in con in communication with my parents. I always ask them for advice. I'm very excited about it. I grew up watching Filipino movies. My sister used to rent them, uh, Viva movies, and so I am looking forward to it very much. I entered the entertainment industry I already had my boundaries in my mind of how far I wanted to go and I think that's very important to have a goal and to already establish what your boundaries are so for me I already knew that posing for the cover of FHM would just be on just beyond the boundary because it's in a swimsuit I've competed in a swimsuit before and I don't have a problem posing in a swimsuit and it doesn't change my relationship with God or the way I relate to other people or who I am. There's a fact that I'm very proud of. I am a virgin and I haven't kissed anyone and I'm waiting till marriage to have my first kiss.